Nathan, congratulations. Thank you, mate. I, I know you're smiling, and that must have meant so much, the, the battle and the courage you showed to get through that game. Yeah, um, first and foremost, I want to thank the crowd. Um, I think without them t this evening, there's no way I'd be sat here talking to you. They have been absolutely fantastic. The support they have gave me this evening has been absolutely amazing. And you know, from the walk on, when I win the leg, the cheering, the singing my name, and even when I won it last year, I've never heard anything like. That. Even played at the MEN, oh, the AO Arena last year, I've never heard anything like. That. And you know, for me, being on that stage, being that person that they're singing to, it, it is like emotional. It's quite quite humble unbelievable and I think they've, they've carried me through tonight because you know that was pretty rubbish if I'm <laughs> deadly honest with you uh, I felt for Luke because obviously he, it was his debut and he's playing against me with all that support but yeah I, I, I tried everything I, I, I tried my hardest I, I left everything on that stage tonight to, to get the win it might not have looked like it because I, I might have looked miserable at times but that's me trying to calm myself down but yeah, I think uh, I think the win goes to the fans tonight. We saw a couple of times you wince in absolute agony. I know you've you've said that the arm isn't it's basically hanging at times. How does how is it right now, and how are you getting through these games with such a bad injury? I have a lovely ice bucket <laughs> at the side of the stage when I walk off after five legs. Um, no, it's it's listen. I shouldn't be playing. If I'm deadly honest with you, I shouldn't be playing. But I'm the defending champion. I ain't missing this. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm here and. You know, I played I played the Pro Tours two weeks ago for mainly for a bit of practice uh, ahead of ahead of the match play. I know what's ahead of me. The PDC know what's ahead of me. Um, after this is this is my last tournament, and then I'm having my treatment done. So I'm I am leaving everything on that stage. I'm trying my everything off to to win a game, to to defend my title. I'm trying everything I can and. I know after this tournament, I'm, I'm away for two, three months. So that's why it's extra special because I know it's the last time I'm going to throw that. Darts is my life. I absolutely love darts. It's my passion. It's my love. It's my life. And I'm going to be away from the game for three months. I'm not going to throw darts for 12 weeks. So rest assured, I ain't going down without a fight. Is the treatment, is it surgery? No, it's not surgery. No, no it's not surgery. It's uh, something called shockwave therapy. Um, and he's six to eight sessions, um, but you need one a week, so that's eight weeks. So it's not surgery. It's actually not as bad as people may think. It, it can be dealt with without surgery, um, but it, it's the recovery process of it all. So it's probably two to three months, um, but I'm 32. You know what I mean? When was Phil? How old was Phil when he retired? Gary Anderson's still winning everything at 51, 52. So, you know, I've got plenty, plenty of years left in the game. Let's do it now while I'm young and my bones can heal better and my ligaments can heal better. Let's take let's take it now and uh, I can come back in three months' time and smash everyone, hopefully. <laughs> you said they got you through. Can they carry you to the title or is that a pipe dream right now? That's a pipe dream right now. Listen, I've got Wadey or, or Noppet next. Two fantastic players. Um, I, I fancy my chances, if I'm dead honest with you. I do, I do fancy... To, winning that game um, but I'm not even looking at the trophy at the moment I'm, I'm so proud of myself that I've come through and won a, won a, won a tough game tonight but it was a tough game Luke's a battler um, I'm going to enjoy this evening with my family I'm going home tomorrow I'm going to go and watch the Three Lions lift the trophy come on I need Harry Kane to score a goal for me bet please <laughs> um, I'm going to go and watch them boys win the trophy it's my birthday on Monday Gonna celebrate the birthday with my family, come back Monday night and uh hopefully get a good result on Tuesday. But now, nah, listen, the retaining the titles like a lot far far in the future. Enjoy this weekend, enjoy my birthday, enjoy England winning, win on Tuesday and then we'll talk about it then. Nathan, pleasure as always, mate. Cheers, mate. Does the surgery mean another twelve weeks without golf as well? I've not played golf, mate, for two years. So yeah. get your facts up straight. <laughs> If you were the defending champion, do you think you would have been here this week? Or? 100%. It's the second biggest tournament of the year. Um, I'm, like I say, but without the defending champion, yeah. It's my local tournament. Uh, the Winter Gardens is 
Something special. Even Luke said to me tonight, he said, I came here earlier just to see what it's about. All the players hype on about the, ma the match play. And he's like, I can't believe how small it was. I went, Mate, wait till you walk out on that stage. Wait till you walk out. And, you know, he, he's a great, he's a nice guy. And after the, after the game there, he was like, you know, fair play. Unbelievable. I've never experienced anything like that. The atmosphere that it produces is unbelievable. So, yeah, one defending champion, I'll still be here because... What, what an event! You know what I mean. It's the best event in the year. I'm sure as a debutant, that takes plenty of getting used to. Even you walking into this venue tonight, did it sort of take take a little bit of getting used to? It did tonight because, um, and I, I didn't think it would bother me at all. Um, like obviously when I won the UK Open, when I walked back to mine head, I didn't feel any different. But I walked in, and I sat down, and I said to Martin, my manager, I was like, this shit was weird. He's like, what do you mean? I went, I'm the defending champion. And I'm like, I'm sat, and obviously in the practice room, you see the trophy, like the way that the uh, the Betfred publicised it in the practice room. You sat, you're looking around, you're like, wow, I own this title. This is my title. And yeah, it, it was uh, a bit nerve wracking for about an hour. But then I got on the board, I had a good chat with Luke Humphries, and um, we, I'd like to say when I, when I got on stage, I felt at home, which I did, but. It was a struggle tonight, but we got through it. Nathan, last week was it a tough decision to see whether to skip or play the Pro Tours because on one hand you do want to sort of rest up, but like you said, you do need that match practice. Yeah, it, it was. It was a tough decision. Um, I've been away for, for a week on holiday. I landed to like 6 o'clock Monday evening and I went, literally got home, I pre-packed a suitcase, put it in the car and off I went, see you later kids. And I went to Milton Keynes, and you know what? To be fair, I got to the last 32 on on, on the Tuesday, and my first game on the the Wednesday, I've never felt pain like it. Like a lot more painful than this evening. To the point I was like, I was called, I was in tears, and uh, I was going to quit the game in my first game. And fair play to the guy uh, Robbie Knops, he was called. He said, "Have a minute." And I hit 180, so I'm like, I'm going to beat you. <laughs> so I carried on playing. Uh, and I made it all the way to the last 16. Um, but, yeah, it, it, it was more, I can't practice. I can't throw darts, so I can't practice. So it was more get the match practice in whilst you can make a few quid. And also, obviously, help my rankings. Because at the end of the day, if I'm not playing a lot, my rankings are going to be affected. So, you know, to be fair, that, that week was massive for my rankings, if I'm deadly honest with you. So... Yeah, I needed to do it. I didn't want to do it, but I did it. Battled through it. I've not thought this is the first time I've found out since that, which was what eleven days ago. Um, listen, it's not pretty, but I'm battling. I'm trying my best. If anyone plays well against me, I'll lose. I know that. So I'm hoping for the rest of the tournament, all twenty-eight of them that are left, I'll have them there. <laughs> I mean, what you spoke about there, that, that pretty much sums you up. You, you don't give up and you're always a fighting away. Do you feel like, you, because of everything that you're going through, there could be an issue with complacency with a few of your opponents thinking, yeah, he's nowhere near 100% fit, I'm going to walk all over him and then you just keep battling away? That's my... Let's flip this. Let's flip it. That's my biggest problem. I think everyone knows me well enough to, to know that I'm a nice guy. I don't like to win without winning like from ability and I don't want people to feel sorry for me I have to be honest without me and you because these people are putting money on me or on, on betting reasons or um, you know I, I have to be honest about me and you and that's who I am as a person but I don't want people to feel sorry for me because end of the day it's a professional sport um, but I do feel like that sometimes with people that, you know, you play James Wade, he don't give a balls, <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? He don't he don't care. But if I play like a Dolby, I think Luke tonight, maybe that might have come into play tonight. People that are mates or people that have been through something similar, maybe, I don't know, maybe get complacent, but I don't want that. And it, this isn't why I do it. This isn't why I don't... I'm not honest because of that reason. I'm honest because that's who I am. I don't do it to try and get an advantage because I want you to play your best. If you play well, I'll, I will be with you. Do you know what I mean? But I do think that at times it could be something of, of that, that nature. You played the Pro Tours last week, which was 1st to 6. 
if you've reached a quarter final, it's definitely. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. Uh, have you thought about how sort of in the game you can try and mice it? I know you mentioned you had an ice bucket on the side of the stage. Yeah, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to just win 16 0. And then we don't have to worry about it, do we? <laughs> nah, um, no, nah, I'm not even thinking that far ahead. Uh, I've said to myself, I know I can win my first two games. That's what I've said to myself. Um, if it gets to the, the quarterfinal stage, that's something we'll have to sit down with with, with my my physio, my chiropractor, the people that are looking after my arm, come up with a plan, because that is a bloody long game. It is a long game, and I felt it first to 10 tonight. Cause don't forget, we're not just turning up playing 20 legs. I've been practicing for three hours, but I haven't. I've been done about an hour, but we're, we're here beforehand. So, yeah, that, that that's in the future. You know, hopefully I'm in, I'm, I'm in that problem. Hopefully that predicament is in my head. But first and foremost, I'm going to enjoy my weekend. I'm going to come back, play Wade or Nop it, hopefully beat them, and then I'll tell you how I'm going to deal with it then. Nathan, well done on the win. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Nathan, many congratulations on the win. We've seen all through your career the fighting and never say die attitude. Would you say that tonight was the ultimate example of that? Hundred percent. You know, probably up there with one of the one of the the finest Nathan Aspinall don't give up die attitudes you've ever seen. And there was moments I was gonna give up. I'm not even gonna lie. There was like I think again you see my reaction. Sometimes I'm walking back and I'm just moping around and I'm like, why? Like. Stop putting yourself through all this, and then look over and see my little daughter, not even watching me play with my iPad. <laughs> but I mean, like, I, I look at her and I see, I see Brooke, I see Millie, I see Kirsty, and I'm like, come on, you know, this is, don't give up your title so easy, you know, fight for it. And again, I've, I mentioned it before, the support this evening has been absolutely amazing, um, and yeah, the, my family got me through tonight, but without that crowd, wow. I, like, I can't even thank them. Like, unbelievable. And you mentioned the shockwave therapy that is coming up for you. How important is it for you that you go out with an absolute bang at this year's match play? Go out with an absolute bang. I'm not bothered. I just want. I just don't want to give my title up easy. I want to put everything on that stage. If it if it get be eleven nil against whoever play. I'm not bothered as long as I know I've what I, I can walk up the stage and go. I've tried everything, um, but all you know, be all. What's the word? I'm talking about be all and end all. Be all and end all. Be all and end all. I want to get my arm right. Two years now, wrist, arm, shoulder, back. I just want to be 100% fit um, and enjoy my game, enjoy my life. You know what I mean? It's I'm constantly you. It'll, like the stuff I've had to do today just to play for tonight, like two hours of pressure, ice, heat, this, that, the other, blah, blah, just to be, before I even came here. Then I'm doing all strapping. I'm like, just what I wake up, go out, have some food, turn up, play darts, and win. That's what I want back. Um, so, listen, I'll try my best. Am I going to win it? As I sit here now, absolutely more chance of Dave Allen. Well, there's more chance of Leeds United getting promoted next year. <laughs> but I will fight till the end, and I think everyone knows that. Well, many congratulations, Nathan, on the win tonight. Cheers, mate.